It's very difficult to cross to the other side of a street. It's very difficult to know whether one's being brave or being reckless, and when one is being wise or being a coward. I like the smell and the feel of wood. It's, it's nice stuff to handle. Um, and it's wonderful starting off just, with, particularly if you actually have rough wood and then you put it all through a plane yourself. You start off with rough planks, you're gonna end up with something really very beautiful at the end of it. I and mean, this is just, this is knockabout joke woodwork, just making a packing case. But I just, I've always loved, um, I've always loved using tools. I just, you know, I love using my hands. This particular shipment is five defibrillators and there's also an operating stool which I sat in doing thousands of operations over the years and now Igor will be able to sit on it and he'll do active service in Ukraine for many years to come. It's a nice thought, you know, nothing, nothing goes to waste. It is 15 years when Henry came to Kiev and each time with the new ideas, with the new medical things, I mean medical presence, some instruments and screws, you know, things like that. But uh, after we became closer with each other, I understood that it is a, not a medical cooperation. It is much deeper and uh, we are much closer. His role in my life, uh, he is an elder brother. Починалося то десь два роки тому. Два роки тому, то було навесні, був сиді порядок наводив. А тут сталося таке, що просто ну так як з зималом поступово. Слабо все затерпало. Починаючи від голови, все слабли руки, ноги і у мене бажання було крикнути. Я тоді так схилявся, так. І далі темнота. Що тільки у розквіті сел, а таке. Але, але а мушу тепер якось з тим боротися. Раніше не задумувався, яке в мене життя. Ну так, день за днем. А Тепер хочеш жити. I first went out to Kiev in 1992 as I'd been asked to give some lectures on brain surgery there. When I was there, I visited one of the state hospitals and I was appalled to see a completely broken down, bankrupt medical system. I was seeing medical problems the like of which 
have not really been seen in the West for... There's the bone flaps got displaced. There's a bit at of that time, there. maybe for 50 or 60 years. It was like going back in a time machine. And I remember talking to a Ukrainian doctor, and I said, oh, I'd like to help. You know, he said, it's a waste of time. It's a, anything you do is a drop in the ocean. It's, you know, the whole system will have to change. Basically, go away, you can't help. And I remember feeling, well, actually, no. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to accept that. I can't really respect myself if having seen so much suffering, uh, sure, surely I can do something to help. Uh, and then, by chance, the next day, I met I met Igor. <laughs> okay, that's my favorite painting. It's a Ukrainian hero's Cossacks, and we can compare Cossacks and with neurosurgeons. There are many similarities between us because they are happy because they won the battle and uh, the same happened with us after the successful surgery because igor was so extraordinary and so determined he was basically questioning the official ideology of how medicine should be practiced as he tried to make things better not surprisingly he had endless problems and he had death threats at one point he was sleeping in a different room every night his department was closed God knows how many times. He was sacked, his staff was sacked. There were endless official committees of inquiry. Um, and I couldn't very well abandon him. I'd sort of set him up. I'd brought him to the West and said, look, you know, brave new world full of wonderful things and modern equipment. So the more his, his professional rivals and enemies tried to destroy him, the more I felt obliged to support him. Принесе десь надію на життя. Він вже так як змінив моє життя. Сподіваюся, що Бог його руками. Дать мені надію на життя, і що я буду здоровий. Is Луза out the front? Right. You get started, Patrick. Is it the head position we discussed? Yeah, that's fine. Where's Луз? Oh, perforators. You got some perforators. They are 100 and Mars, but we... They're what? 100 pounds? I come on. That's what they say. Three, four, five. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll go and put those in my bag. So you were saying how many of these have you done before? I have done three. Three. On your own or with one of the attendants? No, one of them. Right, okay. Well, I mean, because she's old, there should be, lo there should be loads of space. Yeah. I have a very specific approach. There you go. So I'd have her... It's very tight. See, like that. It's yeah. going to be a bit more. It's more than. It's going to, you'll find you're, you're coming down more or less vertically now. Presumably, you use disposable perforators back there. Uh, almost exclusively. So I'm trying to reuse them in Ukraine with my friend Igor. Can you reuse them? You well, you need to them replace or? the plastic clip. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be doing the operating myself. <laughs> That's it, that's fine. I think we'll find that cracks now. Сьогодні після захищення слово Боже, там при дворі буде стояти мужчина Стасу, і там будуть давати гроші на операцію хворому людині. Понеділок, вівторок, четвер служби Божі будуть за здоров'я, а в середу, п'ятницю, в суботу за померші душі в чистилище. Тут 
Туда и туда. Ні, тут таке зроби. Не треба, не треба звідчити. Не треба тут таке зробити. Таке зроби, щоб тут причепити. А, бо це очка зараз. The really difficult thing about neurosurgery is knowing when to operate. The actual operating isn't so difficult. But the really difficult thing is, is balancing the risks of the operation against the risks of not operating. It's a bit like Russian roulette with two revolvers. And you've got one revolver called treatment or surgery and the other revolver, which is no treatment. And you have, <laughs> it's like that for the patient. And you have to decide which, which to go for. Marion's epilepsy is caused by a brain tumor, which ultimately will kill him if it's not removed. He's been told in Ukraine it's inoperable. I think I can save him, but there's a very real risk I could wreck him in the process. Would you want to lose your personality or your intellect or your ability to think? Because that's the sort of risks we're talking about. Stanislav Petrovich, I mean, Petrovich. Можна рахувати, що е, само дитинство. Є небагато людей таких, але вони є. I'm trying to fill up my job plan, but though and every time I'm given a different um, password. Михайле, добрий день. Це Ігор Петрович дзвонить. Слухай, Михайле, виручи, ну Боже, не треба зробити знімок голови е, хлопчику. І I suppose to specify every few minutes of the day where I am and what I'm doing as I was at school. No, oh, let's try that. Wednesday, ward round. It seems you can't do more than one activity. Um, add an activity. All right, another activity, maybe we'll do that. In fact, I do many things a day, but for some reason you can only put one thing in. Чуєш, Михайле? А вчора він сьогодні вас бере за двойною ціною, або через тиждень записує, скільки це буде коштувати? Administrative meetings. I feel I shouldn't have to justify my existence like this either. Try to change that. Oh, bloody hell! Just be inappropriate. The operation was started. Now, will that save? Oh, 
Oh, bloody hell. I, I really just can't, I can't stand it any longer. I really can't. Just go away. Marianne, sin. No. No. <laughs> Igor, it's Henry. Hello. Hi. Um, look, I'm looking at the scans on um, the boy from um, Zolichov again, wherever it's near Lviv, the, the possible awake craniotomy, yeah? So it's a question of when I meet him, is trying to assess whether, you know, whether he could cope with this, whether he'd find it very stressful or not. But having holes drilled in your head while you're awake, and then the sound of the saw, it's extremely noisy and it's actually quite violent. You have to actually hold the, hold the patient's head quite strongly. Is, there, is everything else all right otherwise? And the plans, and the plans for going to Hotterdock to see Tanya's mother, is that, is that is okay, is it? It's minus 13 degrees in the daytime on Friday, so it may feel a bit more like winter when I'm there. I'm taking out some instruments again for Igor, some old surplus ones, and I'm going to show him some very difficult operations he hasn't really done before. But what I'm thinking most about, actually, is going to see Tanya's mother. And you might say, why, why do I want to go and see the mother of a child who died several years ago? And I've had many patients who have died, um, many of them children. And I, d I didn't quite know the answer. But I just know I want to go and see Katya. I, I think about her and Tanya very often. Um, I suppose because there was so much about hope and hope, failed hope really. Um, I can remember so clearly when I first met Tanya. She was very shy and I remember she still burst into tears when she was first brought into the room. She was very beautiful, um, but she had this lopsided face because half her face was paralyzed because of the tumor. A little bit, a little bit. How could you see a young girl who was slowly dying from a brain tumor, which in theory is curable because it's not cancerous? How can you do nothing? How can you say, go away and die? You'd say, whatever the risks, whatever the cost, we've got to do something. Hope is more important than anything else in life. And as Katya said to me, you gave us hope, and that's a very precious thing to give. Tanya's tumour was said to be inoperable in Ukraine, so I brought her to London. But things went horribly wrong. During the first operation, Tanya lost her circulating blood volume four times over. It was a, an appalling operation. But it was a second operation when I tried to remove the rest of the tumor where everything went catastrophically wrong. Because of my operations, she had a terrible last two years to her life. She was paralyzed, disabled, couldn't really have been much worse.
Henry coming and uh, our favorite topic it's uh, what is the meaning of the life what to do is it means to to become a professor or to means uh, to become a minister of the public health service or it is better to be a good doctor just to be a good doctor to see patients every day to listen to them and try to help them <laughs> Так, ми, ми зараз робимо загальні обстеження, які нам мають показати, що, що все було б добре. Тамара Сергійовна, слухайте, Тамара Сергійовна. Є ось що... хлопець. Хлопець. Значить, це наш е, пацієнт, який про операцію буде вирішуватися питання Генрі Маршев. Максимальні скидки. Я постараюсь або... все, що змогу. Ну, я ж безплатно не або... можу зарплату ж людям треба платити. Я, я розумію. Да. А не Тамара Сергійна, не подивимося, що вони ще, ще можуть. Бо це люди геть, геть абсолютно бігають. Сідайте, будь ласка. Ти платиш не Генрі Маршу. Генрі Марш на Україні працює безплатно, благотворительно. А плата йде за використання білля, за оренду поміщення. Це ви сьогодні зранку приїхали? Так. Да? Ну, десь о другій годині літає літак і зразу ми приїдемо сюди. Десь на 16 годині. Так. Мені теж за нього показали, що він як може буде зробити. Значить, я давайте на 16 годину. годину. Значить, давайте на 16 годину до нього. Добре. 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 Сьогодні. Добре. Давайте. Так, нам треба зробити МРТ. Сержері це ризкий бізнес, but neurosurgery. It is 100 times more risky business. Marian came to our office. He is more or less okay, but he can can be disabled, totally disabled tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. And it uh, will be our wrong decision. It's a responsibility. It's a moral, moral responsibility. Uh, tired. Uh, tired? Yeah, a bit tired. Quite tired. Well, I got up at half past two in London. I, mean, uh, I, had, I came via Vienna. Why you chose Vienna? Because there was Why? a strike. I've got some amazing things for you in there. Really? Uh, quite amazing. <laughs> quite amazing. Oh, totally legal. I mean, it's fine. It's just as staggering what, get, what gets thrown away. Um, you, you will not believe what I've got. And how are you? Uh, actually, I'm very well. And it's, it's always good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> nice to escape the NHS, I can tell you. Oh, fantastic, the ambulance. Yeah, the ambulance. How's your, how's your poor old car? Uh, at least two months, two months yeah. to repay it. Yeah. You said there was another investigation against you recently in the in the SPU hospital. What was the result of that? Uh, it is more or less normal, normal to, to so be investigated yes. yeah. in this yeah. country. Is, yeah. If you are successful, it means that your life will be difficult. difficult yeah. Yes. We and say in English, you put if you stick your head up above the parapet, above the wall, you are likely to have it cut off. You know, actually, although I've been to Ukraine so many times, this is the first time I've seen the tape uh, frozen. Oh, uh, yes. That's exciting, I like that. <laughs> That's very good. And it's going to be much colder this week, isn't it? I 
I suppose one of the most bizarre and ironic aspects of my work with Igor is that when I first met him, he was really a victim of the dictatorial Soviet medical system. But now, 15 years later, he's running a very humane clinic in rooms rented in the hospital run by the KGB. And the explanation is that many things have changed in Ukraine. The country is now a democracy, and the KGB are keen to support doctors who will carry Ukrainian medicine hopefully forwards to a new future. They even have a lunchtime karaoke concert for the staff. Take my coat off. Well, it's, I mean, it's still, I've been doing this for 15 years, but being faced by this whole corridor of people, most people are going to have quite horrendous <laughs> neurosurgery. It's still, I find it very frightening in a way, and <laughs> I'm quite daunting. Hope, and a lot of it's going to be hope disappointed. I'm as a last port of call, and I sometimes feel I raise a lot of false hope sometimes by coming here. The one thing, there are various just things you asked me for, I think will be quite interested by what I've got. Here are just a few <laughs> throwaway perforators. Do you know they cost £80 each and they're thrown away after one use? So I'll, I'll take these all out so you can, you can leave them there. This is the Ogeman stimulator we'll need for the away. I've got to take that back to London. That's the cortical stimulator. Special drills. Yeah, they're all here. That's all the drill bits. There's even the craniotome. It's a nice okay. toy. Oh, it's superb. It's, it's very good. And then they connect that there, you see. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Henry. Right, well, look, um, if I could have some coffee, Igor Petrovich. Tamara uh, Serhina. And then we'll, uh, maybe we should start, we should start seeing some patients. Sure, sure. Otherwise, Eagle will be here all day playing, no, 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 no. playing with the tools. Um, oh, спасибо большое. Thank you very much. Thank you. Чего всіх людей проконсультую? Всі люди одинакові. Та там є громада. І громада визначить, хто перший, хто другий. Ну, що не вже я можу тут там командувати. Ви зараз да. йдете. Справедливо йде черга? Чи Справедливо. Не... Справедливо, все. Справедливо. Давайте, сідайте сюди. Yeah. But see, if it was a chordoma destroyed bone, this cannot be a chordoma, if you, if you mean chordoma. Він каже, що ця пухлина все-таки виглядає як доброякісна. Okay. All right. so it's a, it's a wash. <laughs> if people they stay out of sight, they stay out of sight, they stay out of sight, in the queue, and they and they and they and they and That's a child in their family. She's a grandma. I would judge that tumor to be inoperable, basically. I mean, it's in the brain stem, it's all in the ponds. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm afraid the child is less than a year to live. Ребенку ничего, ничто не поможет. Это умирание. But obviously, as as parents and as grandparents, we find it very, very difficult to do nothing. It's, it's very hard. It's very hard to say to our family or to say to our family. Or to ask something. So what to do? Something to do? My opinion is 
there is nothing to do but wait for the child to die. С моей точки зрения ничего не надо делать. Ничего не надо делать. Надо делать. Life can be very cruel. Спасибо. I'm sorry. Спасибо вам большое, извините. Пожалуйста. Давай дальше. Without surgery, she probably will she probably will die within the next five years or so. Surgery is safer than no surgery, and she'll continue to she'll continue to to get worse as time goes by. Richard. All these cases I'm seeing, I would operate on them all in London without any hesitation. Sure, there are risks, but I would be reasonably confident. That, you know, I'd be quite certain that the, 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 the risks of treatment and the risks of surgery were less than the risks of no surgery. But when you translate that into the circumstances here, it's different and it's much more difficult to know. So in that sense, it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's very frustrating, you know, they're all these salvageable people. Ah. So you're, you're looking for a, in English it's called a jubilee, a jubilee clip. Mm, yeah. Many things I bought in this place. Yes. For, uh, yeah. for our clinic. But they're really it's for the for the for yeah, the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, there we are. That was slightly better quality than the other one, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's better made. It's got better. Um, it's very nice. Better metal on on the worm drive. Yes. Wish I knew the size. Is it? Did you did you buy your um yeah. your Bosch drill? In a place like this, the cordless uh, yes. Do we do a 24 volt um, no, cordless? No, 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 no. Uh, this is not really strong enough. That cordless drill, is it? Але питання полягає і в тому, що виконання цих двох задач, про які ми говорили, тобто видалення пухлини, ліквідація епілепсії, можливе при повному видаленні пухлини. Тобто при видаленні пухлини без залишання якихось частин пухлини в голові. Now the the problem with trying to remove all of the tumor is there is some risk, there is some danger that the operation could leave you paralyzed down the right. The tumors on the left, the left side of the brain is responsible for the right side of the body. And there is a risk if we try to remove all of the tumor of producing paralysis of the right arm and the right leg. Виконати цю операцію в Україні тут є одна, ну, є одна проблема. Usually we have the patient under a general anesthetic to begin with when we make the the opening, the incision in the head and the bone. And then we wake the patient up and remove the tumor. Складний для України, тому що нема спеціальних ліків і нема ну, високоспеціалізованого персоналу для того, щоб виконати таку операцію. So I, I think it would be simpler and 
more, we have a better chance of success if you are awake throughout the whole time of the operation. Більше шанс для реалізації цього цієї операції України буде полягати в тому, що від початку і до кінця ти маєш бути в свідомості. Та думаю, що може все буде добре. Я так настроєний на те, що буде все добре. It makes the operation safer because it makes the surgeon braver because I know I can see what I'm doing because I can see you, I can talk to you, I can ask you to move your arm and leg and that gives us a much much better chance of removing all of the tumor. Ти проскинешся, вже дізнаємося, чи ти рухаєш нога, але то вже може бути запізно. There will then be about 10 minutes, which is then not painful, but is unpleasant. And that is when Dr. Kurulex is sawing, cutting through the bone of your skull. That is very, very noisy, and you will feel the pressure of the drill pushing on your head. Um, and that is unpleasant, but it's, it's okay. You know, the only part of the head which feels pain is the skin. That is all. The brain itself does not feel pain. So in a strange, in a strange way, to remove a brain tumor under local anesthetic is not, is no different from going to the dentist. And I, I really, really think we can do this. And I mean that from my heart. It's yeah. True. Okay? Okay. Хорошо. Хорошо. Ти, тобі би ліпше було на коле. <laughs> right, we have a plan. But the, the, most, the most important to put the plan into action. Yes. Right. Yeah. Making plans, it's a Soviet. It's a Soviet National Service. Yes, yes but making... National Health Service is nothing but plans now. Yes. <laughs> so making plans, yeah. it's uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Зараз ми прийдемо до вас. Це новий об'єкт. В Україні ще це нова операція буде. В Україні ще не не діяли від такої операції. Говорю мені так, як воно є. Бор машинка сверлити. Ну, каже, боліти не буде. Ну, але ж буде шуміти так. I've yet to have a, a catastrophic result here in Ukraine, but you know, I think the law, sooner or later, the things are going to go badly. But nothing ventured, nothing gained, I suppose. And however much you tell patients there is risk, they never really take it in. If, if you're very nice and charming with them, they're always going to trust you and they think, I'll be all right. But that's human nature. We all think it's never going to happen to me. No, I believe. The main thing is that God will be in yourself, so that God will help you. Not only in yourself, but in the professor. Yes, he believes in the professor. If he wants to help him, he wants to help him. Yes. Doing uh, risky surgery means losing job and uh, disqualification. Four years ago I was uh, unemployed for two years, yeah. so it was uh, crazy, but uh, I had no job in this yeah. country. And it seems to me you're in a particularly difficult position, trying because you're not, because you're not supported. Um, and, and so many people, are, so many people are trying to, to stop stop you. If you have any bad results, you're much more likely to have serious problems because you're outside the system. If Ukraine will export the the most capable and most clever people, as we now ex exported seven million people, yes. so yeah. it'll be a disaster for yeah. this country.
Are you ready to eat? Uh, we'll just play for ten minutes first, if that's all right. <laughs> so I want to look at this, this perforator. I'm sure we could use it dozens of times. Maybe you can just somehow make a metal sleeve to go over it. Mm -hmm. You said your tool maker has died, alas. Yeah, from brain tumour. Yeah, and he did a lot of good work for you, and he made yeah. you the operating yeah. table. That's thing as well, didn't And the bar like for sitting position. He made that, that's yeah. very nice. No, that's very sad, he made it very nicely. He made a pair of sort of circlip pliers. My department, I, I calculated, it is unbelievable. It spends 40,000 pounds a year. A year? Just on those. Yeah, we use 10 mm. a week, they cost 80 pounds each. We must use at least 10 a week, which is um, 800 quid a week times 50. I mean, it's, it's extraordinary. I use one for 10 years. Yeah, I know. Compressed air hose for the ventilator. Yes, uh, I. Well, it fits. I made fixing. Okay. Here. So we we will try to. Bye bye. See you tonight. Good luck. Thank you. You like my idea? Yeah, fine. You know, in England, I don't have to. Plumb in the ventilators myself. We have somebody else to do that. You were just a one man hospital. <laughs> My job is to do the operation. Oh, you're privileged. Mm -hmm. yes. You're privileged. Yeah. Yeah. We must be responsible for everything. Yeah. Ми домовляємося. У дверях ніхто не стоїть. Оце отут у дверях ніхто не стоїть. Добре, посиділи, щоб ніяких не було проблем. Ото це тримайте цукерки, роздайте усім людям, людям цукерки, щоб ви тільки тихо сиділи. Добре, я вас просто благаю. Роздайте усім. Каринка, а ну чи будеш ти бачити? Зараз ми тобі дивися сюди на нас. Ти And can can she see any light? And is the light in her eye now? Зараз світить чи не світить? Світить. Світить. Well. Yes. Mm -hmm. А зараз світить? Ні. Yeah. Зараз не світить. No. So no she's light. Not seeing light. light. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the How end. much time we have? None. Two. It is too late. If they become late. totally blind, it's too late. You have to operate for raised intracranial so pressure early. before before they completely lose their eyesight. <laughs> Typical problem here, because diagnosis is so often delayed. Uh, and by the time a brain scan is done, the damage is done, even with benign tumors, people have gone blind or suffered irreversible damage. You get earlier diagnosis if you have more scanners, but even though a, a brain scan in Ukraine costs 50 to 100 dollars, even 50 to 100 dollars for many people here is a huge sum of money and they can't afford it. And so things get left, left too late. run good 
treatment of, of the patients in, in our hospitals. How far away do you think you are from actually starting building your own hospital? It depends on, uh, on finance. Yeah, and you'll have to borrow the money, presumably, from... <clears throat> We can, but uh, it is very difficult to run clinic if you have uh, a large mortgage, large yes, debt, yeah, from bank. So here we are. That's yep. that's place. Ah, what a what a what a dream, hey? Is it your dream? Yeah, Must be. Yes. yeah. Your own hospital, Igor. No, no, it's well, <laughs> that's a field. Yeah, I know. No, it's but, a field. But it's a field of dreams. Yeah. So, this is where it will be. Ah, isn't it fantastic? So exciting. Igor, this can be the ornamental lake. Yeah? For your hospital. <laughs> I like it. Тут само по себе, Игорь Петрович. So, 30 uh, метров вот где-то сюда вот пойдёт да. линия. So the front, oh, the, the, the front of the building will be will we'll be, be here. here. It'll be here. We'll be yeah. here. Yeah. It's a water pipe. Yes. It's a deep water yeah. pipe here. And the patient's rooms will look into onto the courtyard? Yes. And there'll the... be a garden, there'll be a garden in the middle of the courtyard. Yes. Well, that's wonderful. A lake there. Yes. So we can go there. Yes. And uh... the lake will be there, there, yeah, there, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's full with fish. Uh, be careful. I am not sure that it is uh, strong enough. Looks pretty thick to me. Are you happy? Yes, yes. Henry, I, well, I, I can very, take it. Very exciting. No. Igor, it's so important to have good design in hospitals because hospitals are like prisons. They're, you know, they're places where a small number of people are doing nasty things to a large number of people. Марьян пришел. А что мне запросить? Да. Пошел. Спасибо сюда. Ну я я все так думал. От коли готувався до того дня. Та я всередині так все тре, тресеться. Ну, але, але мушу якось набратися можності. І... This is a very big, serious case, don't you? The one we're going to do now. Yes, Henry. And the patient. The risky surgery. And the patient realizes. Uh, the problem is uh, that if you run successful clinic, yeah. so nobody realizes how risky surgery but you, can be. Can I know, be. but you've got to tell them. I mean, I'm yes, not. Yes, I told result. them. I told them, right. but they reply well, they're, they're that, uh, like that you had, you, you, you had. Uh, Good results. Uh, we asked many patients, so we sh we su suggest that. Yeah, but with simpler, smaller tumors. This yeah, is a yeah. terrible big tumor. Yeah. Mm. You became less enthusiastic with years. Well, no crap. It's not that. It's just you're giving me more and more difficult. You're showing me more and more difficult operations. That's the problem. Um, that, that's uh, what it's about. You know, every, every time I you, come, you show me a bloody more dangerous operation. Uh, but you told that uh, we should step by step make make progress yeah but one day we're going to make a step too far 
in uh, bloody Cossacks. Mm. Ukrainian Cossacks. Now that you know, the die is cast, we're actually going to start the operation. I cheer up a bit, a certain amount of whether it's bloodlust or training, I'm not quite sure. Surgery isn't just about rational altruism. I mean, it's a blood sport in a way. I mean, surgeons have become surgeons for the excitement of it and the sort of fierce joy of operating. So, in that sense, I suppose it is a slightly Cossack activity, you know, sort of. Brave Ukrainian heroism, things like that. Right, well, off to battle. So, Irene, could you tell Maria, or hurt a little bit, a little bit like being stung by a bee when he puts the local anaesthetic in there? У нас великі то називають бомки. Як? Бомки. 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 Великі бомки. The word for bigger. Mosquitoes. Oh, a yeah. bigger bonky is a big mosquito. Yes. Yeah. It's a Western Ukrainian word. That's fine from that's fine from this side, Igor. Is that yeah. alright for you? Yeah. yeah. Because his head is rigidly fixed, he can move, he can do anything he likes. No, 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 not at all. No, Dr. Kurlets is quite happy up there. No, it's just some scrubbing. I can hear something scratching. <laughs> Well, it'll get very noisy when we when Dr. Kurlet starts drilling, because the whole skull will right. act like the soundboard of a piano. So it'll be very, very loud. A colleague of mine, a neurosurgeon, once did an experiment where he had a colleague of his drill a hole in his head. There was some scientific experiment with putting, a, putting an electric wire into the inside of his head to measure the pressure. I mean, crazy. But he said it was very noisy having the hole, the hole drilled in his head. You can't hear anything. You can't. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, so you can't hear our voice because of the noise, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the 24 volt version might be better, Vigo. Pressure is a bit flat. All the holes down. Good. All right. Yeah. Horizon three millimeters. Yeah, okay. No, no, focus on it. No, 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 no. Так. Крайний отом. Крайний отом. Все під одною сюди. Ну не больно сюди. Нам не звика. He's already used to this sensation. He's getting used to it, all right. He's bored, yes, he's, he'll probably fall asleep soon. We'll have to abandon the operation because he's fallen asleep, you know. Oh, no, I will not sleep already. So he won't go asleep, no. He'll fall asleep. No. He won't fall asleep. No. Well, we're now, we're now, Igor is now cutting through the skull. To have a pulse rate of 70 while you're lying there having your head sawn off is um, quite something.
Well, we will start removing the tumor in five, ten minutes. It's the most important thing. Igor, I'll go and get scrubbed up. I'm feeling extremely tense at the moment. And admittedly, I always do before serious operations. I suppose it's rather like stage fright with experienced actors. The worst of all surgical sins is complacency, so a certain amount of anxiety, I suspect, is necessary. And you know, this is always a critical moment. Is uh, Will we be able to see the tumour clearly? You know, is it going to be straightforward or not? Right, have you got to hang on a minute, let's have a look. Yeah. Where is the tumour? Well, maybe here. What do you mean, maybe here? Thank you. All right. Oh now, um, yes, Igor, come and have a look. I think we can. I think we can tell the difference. That's a little bit discoloured, but that's certainly abnormal. We know from the scan there's a big vein. We'll try to preserve that vein, but I think that will be very difficult. And I think probably the edges of a tumour are like that. So let's have the cortical stimulator now. The leads. They plug in the front. The two. Two contact, put it there facing us. We'll yeah. put it here and. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. I'm going to touch an electrode on his brain. He might feel his arm or his leg move on its own, alright? Not sure. Alright. Okay. Ah, got him. There, that's, that's motor here, do you see? Okay, so Marianne, you'll, I'll make your hand jump. It's like a. A doll with strings. Here we go, ready, watch. There, see? So we're well in front, we're in front of the motor strip. No more, because I don't want to start to fit. Marianne, okay? Normal okay, okay. Good. Well done. Right, we can turn that off now. So what we need to do now is open it, which we know is safe here, because the motor mapping, which was very easy, has shown us where the motor is, but that's tumour. Normal brain it has the consistency of very smooth cream cheese, no. th very thick cream cheese. And the tumours, it makes it rubbery. It's slightly more rubbery and, and stickier and thicker. This is all tumour, you know. It's a big tumour. Irena? Yes? You can tell Marianne that the beastly tumour, which has been ruining his life for so many years, I'm now starting to remove it. Yeah. And you can feel with the sucker that that's too, it's too firm. That's possibly the edge, all this is too, it's very, very, it's actually, this is very nice, this is very clear. See what his movements are like. Marion is, is, is the reassuring check. By knowing that, by seeing he can move his right side as we continue, I know that I'm not, I'm not producing any, any serious weakness in his, in his arm as I, get, I, as I take the tumour out, which makes me braver. Is he all right? Yeah. OK. Good. Приступ. Приступ. He's having a fit. He's, He's having, having a fit. fit. A big fit. Is that the Sidorenko there? Kostya. Приступ. Sudorozhny. Huh? Sudorozhny приступ. Is he having a fit? What's he saying? Uh, he is too... I don't know. He's strange to me. Exactly. Well, could somebody sort him out, please? I can't sort him out. Find out, is he having a fit at the moment? Could, could Dr. Sidorin just talk to him and see if he thinks Marianne. if he's all right? Uh, yes, sir. 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 
Вот такой вот. А су дырок нема? У него бывает сроки горло. Dry throat. We'll give him a drink. Maybe we'll pop it. Yes. Well, can we give him some water, please, to wet his throat? So, Marianne, okay? Okay. Everything all right? Is he, is he in pain or is he, is he fairly comfortable? No, no more. 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 He's all right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. But everything is going fine. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. When we're thinking or talking, that is billions of electrical impulses traveling along all these, these nerve fibers. But I always find it virtually impossible, even when the patient's awake, to look at the physical substance of the brain we're operating on. And I can't really comprehend that this is thought itself, feeling itself. It's, it's just too, too crazy and extraordinary. But that, that's what it is. And that is the absolutely incontrovertible evidence of modern neuroscience. Thought is a physical process. We are our brain. All right, Igor. Yeah. Okay. Eagle. He's just moved his hand. It's yeah, okay. yeah, he's moving all right, is he? Yeah. Good. Tell Marion I've removed the tumor. Вже пухлину видалено. The tumor is gone. Hurrah! Пухлину пухлини більш нема. Все, ура! Let us open new life. A new life can begin. Hey? We hope. We say in English, fingers crossed. Yeah. 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 Fingers crossed. Так в Англії кажуть так, треба схрестити пальці. Вони кажуть. Ну, у нас кажуть, тримайте кулаки. Вот. Oh. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. Пожалуйста, пожалуйста. Okay. Честно тебе. Okay. okay. Нормально. No, not particularly. Hello. Elena, good evening. Mr. Marsh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. He's, he's very tired. Come on. He's very, very tired. I'm not very tired. I've got a stiff back. That's all. So am I. Ugh. The beer will be here. What? Domestic goddess. Full-time cardiologist and domestic goddess. Ugh. What? It went all right today. It was a big, big tumour. So. And how is the patient? No, he's all right. Is there a bottle out there in there, Rico? Here you are. Thank you very much. I have now taught you everything I know about brain surgery. You're a wonderful teacher. No, no you've now picked my brain clean. The only problem, and then we have the only problem that we can kill patients yes. with it. Can and probably will. That's the problem. In Ukrainian conditions, a few deaths medically are acceptable. And the tumors are so big and the conditions are difficult. But politically, only, oh, you, no. only you can decide whether the political... Thank you so much, Elena. And they and will advertise will. A bit bad case. Well, you're very good health. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Marsh. I said the patient's all right. I think he'll be all
Well, if it's not too cold next week, I would like to go down to Kameny Podolsk and Horodok, if possible. And it would be important for me because Tanya, Tanya was quite an important part of my life in, in many ways. And I still think about her and her mother a lot. Yes, and it was a lesson for us. Yes, yes, it was. Yeah, it was a very important lesson. Uh, Intensive care, yeah? Yeah. Tanya, good day. Go. Right. There, Marianne. Mr. Marsh. Marianne. Good day. Good day, Ranok. Hello. Normal, no? Okay. Привіт. Розказуй. Any fits at all? Не було. No, no fits. Arms up in the air. Don't. Turn the palms around. Mm -hmm. Right round. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Yeah, very slight. That's very good. There's really no mm -hmm. significance. That's fine. Nobody. Nobody. So he's fine. He's going to be all right. So the only question now is, mm -hmm. is if we've abolished the epilepsy. I think we mm -hmm. almost certainly have, but we have to, we have to mm -hmm. wait. We can see him right now. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, you can get up in the back. See that? Yeah. See that? Голова крутиться, ні? Трохи. Трохи, так? Я лежав, це ж тільки цілий день, цілу ніч. Can he walk? He can do anything he likes now. Get him up in the back. О, так. Ну що? Падеш. Падеш, ні? Сідай. He'll feel a bit, he'll feel a bit dizzy. He'll feel a bit dizzy to begin with, because he's been lying flat for the last day. But that's fine. What is, what is his treatment? Intravenous? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. So, it was a last chance for him. Yes, yes. So, yeah. And nobody diagnosed the... Better than the scans. Oh, that's probably a leg right line. Has she had issues? Has she developed epilepsy? Is that my epilepsy? No. Why was the scan done? Why did you want to do the scan of the mosque? On the ground. It's easier. I was on the ground. This to me looks like gliomatosis, you know, which is a widely infiltrating, diffuse, low-grade glioma. Is it possible in her age? Not to get. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What, is her, what is her future? No, I'm not good. You cannot, remove, you cannot remove the tumor by surgery because it is too extensive. What can we advise her? Well, I, 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 nothing, I think, is the honest answer. I think, what would I do in, in London? Well, we'd do a biopsy operation, and then I'd refer her to my oncological colleagues. But, you know, the prognosis is, is, is not a good one. How many years it will I would have thought less than five. I shall probably go blind first from purple edema, but I don't know if it's appropriate to tell her that or not. She said that uh, maybe it is a viral infection because uh, she was biting... Bitten by an insect. Yeah. Yes. Mm. It's an encephalitis. Mm. Is it possible? Less it's unlikely, but if that belief gives us some hope and happiness, maybe it's better yeah. to stick with yeah. that. Stick with that possibility. I do not know what to do. To I say. Don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 
when I break really bad news to patients, I don't talk to them on their own. And it's, it's a complicated business. You have to find out what they know, what they fear, what they understand. It's not an easy... You can't just say, you know, this is a bad tumour, goodbye. It takes time, and I think you need other members as a family present as well. Доленосних для вас подій, які мають бути, ми не можемо на один на один з вами. А де ваша мама? Тато? Мама в Москві. Або ви їдете в Москву до мами, або мама в Москві приїжджає сюди. Телефони ваші. Добре? Добре. Дякую. До побачення. До побачення. We must give some hope. Yeah, I know exactly. Exactly. That's all. That's all we can yeah, do. Because yeah, the reality yeah, is, yeah. although she is young and beautiful and looks very well, the reality is she is going to go blind and die, probably within the next two or three years. None of us, all human beings. We cannot look our own, particularly at that age, you can't, you, you can't look your own death in the face and shrug it away. I mean, you can't. So a lot, of, a lot of dealing with people with inoperable brain tumours is giving hope when there isn't really any hope. So there's a lot of sort of, not exactly dishonesty involved, but a lot of, you know, avoiding the truth but trying not to lie and it's is terrible. Metronic. Metronic company. Сара, я за консультацію ж, ні? Ну, то я тоді буду маму сюди, напевно. Все рівно там дорожче не надивається. Ви тут постійно, так? Так. То бажано в який час, чим скорше, чи ясно? Ну, не відкладати в довгий ящик. Так. Як тебе звати? Уляна мене звати. Уляна. Добре. Добре. Все, передавай там привіт. Добре, обов'язково. До побачення. До зустрічі. I, I made what I felt in retrospect was a big mistake many years ago when I saw a young child, Tanya, with a, with a big, that's about the biggest brain tumour I'd ever seen. It was a benign tumour, so in theory it was curable. But again, the diagnosis had been missed and delayed and in a sense I was being sentimental. I had been swayed by emotion. But it's so very difficult to cross to the other side of a street. It's so very difficult to say no.
time when Katya first time visited us yeah, yeah. in uh, emergency hospital and uh, he was frightened what uh, to, yeah, what to yes, do yeah. and what will happen with the child. Yes. I think I think about the whole story quite a lot because in a sense I think it was a mistake to have operated. If it happened again I would say no. I'd say my, I think probably it's too well I think I'd say that. <laughs> but one always hopes, doesn't one? <laughs> Mr. Marsh. Katja. <laughs> right, we brought some flowers. Hello. 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 Не можна пізнати. В вашій хаті. Добрий день. Заходіть. То ви тут мешкаєте. Добрий день. Добрий день вам. Добрий день. То я. Як доїхали? Добрий день. О, бачите. А ви знали, що, то, що ми приїдемо, то ви вже всіх накликали. Так, то що я всіх тут якби всі були, а... Бо це... Я так переживала, що підтримка треба. Так, це якось несподівано, навіть ніби це сон, знаєте? Це якось як сон. Я так, мабуть, з радості, що побачила, я так хвилювалася всі ці дні. Ви можете сказати, що я був дуже сподівався, я був дуже сподівався. Я був дуже сподівався теж. А Генрі Марш каже, що він теж дуже хвилюється. Так що ви в Англії маєте багато друзів. Ір Петрович. Сідайте на столу. Де ми всі сидимо? Тейбл є зрадий. О, це було дуже добре. Чи там, як, де вам зручніше? Бо ви вже насиділися, як вам зручніше? Це є фотограф, це Таня на столі, я бачу. Це Таня. Це Таня, не так? 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 Да, на молочній поки хожу. На молочному заводі. А ще там деколи хожу з жіночкою, стареньку гляжу, вона недалеко. Mm. Там по... ще має свій круг, ось теж стареньку. Ще в своїх є двоє стареньких, якісь змішаних. І ви тож їжте, ви нічого не їздите. Може, в нас не таке аж вкусне, як там? Як невкусне? Я не вкусне. 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 Вони кажуть, не переживайте за їжу, бо, ну, каже, просто чую. Я теж хочу сказати. Так. Саша. Ні-ні, машина стоїть. Ти too young. Too young. Too young. Девушки не положено. Ты же не знаю, как сказать, я выпью ему за... За вас, мистер Марс Ігор Петрович, за ваше здоров'я. Зразу буду вже плакати. Ти обсет, understood. Давай, 
she will drink for for us yes. and uh, maybe we should drink for for her family yes for Tanya yes Misha maybe we pijemo za Tanju za Mišu za vaše zdorojčko Mm. Well, I'll make toast if you'd like to translate, Eagle. <coughs> I've been coming to Ukraine now for 15 years. Я живу в Україну, приїжджаю 15 років. And in many ways I've come to love this country as much as my own. Я свою and Igor and I have been working together for all that time, trying to make progress with treating patients with neurosurgical problems. And sometimes we succeed, and sometimes we fail. Часто ми дістаємо перемоги, але часто ми зазнаємо, зазнавали поразок. But I'd like to drink to all your future successes, and we'll never stop trying to make things better. Він каже, я хочу випити, за мене хочу випити, щоб, щоб у мене все було добре за, 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 за майбутні успіхи. І ми приєднуємося. Мистер Маш, я втрачен. I don't know whether I'll be thinking about anything when I die, but the way I see things at the moment, what I will think mattered most was how I tried to help Igor and his patients. And I'll think about Tanya and I'll think about Katya. What, what, what are we if, if we don't try to help others? We're nothing, nothing at all. Okay. Thank you. Henry. See you. See you next time, hey? Whenever that may be. Yes, and uh, we will miss you. Yeah. Here, yeah. And uh, as for last 15 years, we will talk about you every day in theater. Okay. Igor, bye bye. Bye. Thank you.